there are four types of brain waves one is called delta which is 0 to 4 hertz per second and the second one is theta this is interesting 4 to 8 hertz then comes alpha this is 8 to 12 hertz and then comes beta which is 13 to 20 sorry 13 to 30 hertz now there will be little changes somebody says 0 0.5 to 3.5 so somebody will say 4.5 so don't think i'm talking wrong different because it's a new research related so there would be certain changes now delta is a completely comma state whenever you are a brain dead or whenever there is a um, uh, you know you go into the comma when you are not aware non-awareness point but four is i want to tell you number four is a deep sleep now i am going to tell you something very very interesting things so all of us we go to four when we are sleeping they said that maximum we are spending time four two hours before we get up the people who spend more time people who spend more time on four while sleeping they are much more healthier people so they process their brain well well so i may be there for only 20 seconds but day is there for three hours it's possible but that means day is having a much more healthy mind and body and brain functioning and everything so that is also one of us when we do sleep test and and we do that now theta is a trance state when people get to meditation when people really enjoy when people are totally focused when people are totally attentive so that is the theta state you enjoy in fact um, uh, most of the time after having if you are not taking alcohol most of the time and after having a heavy dinner when you take a food and after 20 minutes 30 minutes you do it like this that is the time is the theta you enjoy when people i used to travel by local bus and people used to you know they're sleeping and hitting you hard on your shoulder they are in theta so theta is the most enjoyable and euphoric phase when people are in love they are in theta so alpha is a receptive very receptive phase you know where i am calm cool relaxed receptive i understand that is where you are processing the brain process happens maximum in a nicer way in the best way is through alpha and beta is when you are hyper or a super hyper when you start uh, you know hitting people fighting with people so you must be thinking i'm all the time in beta right so now the question is every human being has a switch in the body so if you want to go into theta you switch on the theta you can go into the more that more whenever i'm saying am i the master of my own body you have a switch whenever i want to go to alpha i can whenever i want to go to theta can i do that or the external situations are asking putting me into this if external situations are putting it that means i am having no control on my thought process it is the external people who are having the complete control I, let me give you since we work in the university another thing see i want to propose someone okay i still i can do that okay don't worry <laughs> obviously i cannot propose anyone in Delta. okay I have to propose people in Theta. Theta is, I cannot live without you, I cannot breathe without you, I cannot sleep without you, I cannot do this. So that is Theta. Alpha is talks about planning, organization. When should I give up? What message I should write? What time I should write? What should I wear? What should I offer? All those kind of things you keep on planning. It's in your hand. Low beta is, you give a deadline, 31st March is last, either you say yes or no, no problem. And the high beta says, <laughs> 
what i'm trying to tell you it's in your hand brain functioning is in your hand be master of your own brain if you don't have a control on your brain many times you are doing something distraction happen don't think it is bad but if it is a constructive distraction that is also your brain is doing but if you are not enjoying and something other things are happening in your brain you will start thinking that that works well so yeah. my question is that brain functioning is not in the hands of anyone it is in your hand there are a lot of practices you can do you can learn how to manage your own brain through brain two things will be managed well one is your behavior second is your own body your erratic heart rate your erratic respiration rate your erratic muscle um attentions which we get pains many people have a cervical lumbar and so on all these things are can be managed by people themselves